for the sign of Scorpio. Hello and welcome to my channel. So, Scorpio, the recent past energy between you and your person. Page of Wands clarified by the King of Wands. Now, the Page of Wands can be warm, ambitious, high achievers. Now, if this is not an actual person, it can indicate the energy of easy distraction. So, and there's a need to try to stay focused. This card, it indicates that it's possible some things that you started some time ago, they could start to come to fruition. It's also showing a need for new things, new adventures, new approaches, new ideas. The page brings a very positive energy. But because of the energy of easy distraction, you're going to have to supply the follow through. Now, it's with the King of Wands, which can indicate a man who could have hair on the lighter end of the spectrum. It could go either way, though. This person will want to serve as a mentor for you. The King of Wands is positive. Even when he's not representing an actual person in your life, it does signify that men around you are usually or generally supportive of you and they think really well of you. So you'll be feeling ambitious, goal-oriented, and you'll have the will to accomplish whatever you have in your mind. So the recent past energy, Page of Wands, and it's clarified by the King of Wands. Recent past energy between you and your person. I'm basically getting that you're dealing with you're dealing with someone that has a lot of passion for you. They could be the type that is always reaching out to you with messages of love and affection. Um, they're always excited to be with you. Now, when you hear the word page in the tarot. That does indicate a student, youth, immaturity, or someone who's younger than you. So this could be your person, Scorpio. Maybe they're younger than you. You might find that they're on the immature side. Now, you do care a lot about this person because the King of Wands is showing up as a clarifier so yeah you got two wands here so I'm getting that the both of you have a lot of passion for each other them more than you they're always excited about you and you probably you two probably have a lot of communication going on whether it's by text phone calls messenger yeah so like i said this person is probably on the immature side though that's what i'm getting or just younger than you maybe not immature let's see what the rest of the reading has to say so we we'll move on over and take a look at the ch we'll take a look at the um what's coming up where it says present well, we got the Empress, and it's with the Ten of Wands. Now, the Empress does not play by the rules. She has her own way of doing things, her own idea of what is right and what is wrong in any and all endeavors. Now, keep in mind, this doesn't mean she'll always get her way, but she is a reminder not to ignore your creative and intuitive side. The Empress signals coming abundance, but don't make the mistake of thinking that that will always mean financially because we all know there's many types of wealth and riches in life, and money is actually only one of them. But as the Empress, well, you can have it all. The Empress can have it all. Now, it's with the Ten of Wands. Yeah, Ten of Wands is a card below the word present, it kind of speaks for itself, the picture. 
Yeah, you see how this man, he's walking forward with these wands in his hands. He's walking forward, but he's actually about to fall backwards. So you could feel as though you're carrying a heavy burden. You may want to look hard at this and see if there are any ways that you can lighten your load, either literally or figuratively. Because if you look carefully, you'll probably find out that part of the burden you're actually carrying, it belongs to someone else. So try to pace yourself and try not to take on too much. So coming up for you and your person, Empress clarified by this Ten of Wands. So yeah, like I said, you're dealing with someone that's got a lot of mojo for you. Not only are they always excited to reach out to you, talk to you, be with you, but they, they're very attracted to you because the Empress is indicating it's a potent time for love. You could find men and women alike all of a sudden finding you far more attractive for friendship and romance. So this could be a time when <clears throat> it will, your person will seem like they're more attracted to you now than ever. So they're even more excited about you coming up. Now, because it's with this Ten of Wands, you f you're finding that the connection is difficult. Yeah, you're finding that it feels like it's some maybe a burden or starting to take on a rough, starting to feel like it's undergoing a rough time. You could feel like you've got the connection feels like a, a heavy load. Yeah. Yeah, so it feels difficult. Yeah, even though your person is feeling you, but you're feeling it's difficult right now. It's undergoing a difficult time, a hard place in a relationship. That's what the Ten of Wands is. So, let's move on over and let's take a look and see what's coming up for the challenge. We got the Death card and it's with the Magician. Now the Death card, keep in mind, it does not necessarily or even usually indicate physical death. In fact, it's considered irresponsible for readers to predict physical death because we're all creatures with free will and such things they are not written in stone. The death card, it simply indicates transformation and change. Definitely a time of deep transformation could be both internally and externally in your life. It could be that... Maybe some situations or things, maybe people that you've counted on or have gotten used to may no longer be available to you in quite the same way as they once were. Now, the transition can be very difficult for some people, but the change, the change is nearly always needed. Now, the death curve is paired with the magician. The magician is signifying new beginnings, great expectations. It reminds us that we have the power to make a difference in our lives and in the world if we simply try. Just know that you will, will not have it all handed to you on a plate. But you have the potential to have that plate and a lot of what's on it if you do the magic yourself because the magician is all about action. So if you do nothing, you'll get nothing. And if you don't know what to do, then do something, because anything is going to be better than nothing. In other words, if you don't try, you won't get. So, what's coming up? The death card? Well, for the challenge, the death card in, is clarified by the magician. The 
Yeah. Huh. Just give me a minute. <laughs> We're trying to process this here. Okay. Okay, so what I'm getting is that for some of you, you could be losing interest in, in this, in your person. Yeah. You, like I said, you might find that they're on, they're on the immature side. Even though you've got passion for them, they've got passion for you. Um, but they're, they're on the immature side or the connection is a, is a bit immature. So a lot of times it feels like the relationship is difficult dealing with immaturity. So you could be manifesting or wanting a new beginning in your life. Probably not with this person. Yeah, because the magician has manifestation powers. They could be strategic and planning. So you could be thinking or planning a new beginning that doesn't really involve this person. The relationship is difficult a lot of times dealing with immaturity. Or for some of you, you're just dealing with someone that's younger than you and it just makes it difficult so you're losing interest with the death card or maybe you come to some type of conclusion about what you need to do yeah or maybe you you realize it's time for finality yeah because you want some type of new beginning. And I don't think it's with this person. I really don't. Now we'll move on over to the outcome. We got the Four of Swords. And it's with the Four of Cups. Now the Four of Swords can signify a break. Could be from normal life. Could mean that someone in your life may withdraw for a time. Now the withdrawal is not permanent. Yeah, it's not permanent. Examples of withdrawal could be like when someone goes to the hospital and they come right back. Um, someone goes to jail, they come back. Just some type of withdrawal. Those are just two examples. It's going to be a sign to give people their space. You could be needing some time and space to yourself. Others could be pushing too hard for bits and time of your attention, but don't hesitate to draw boundaries for yourself or to just say no. On the other hand, when others say no to you, take them at their word, because if you try to push in the circumstance, it could be asking for trouble. Yeah, so it's with the Four of Cups, which is about wishful thinking. It warns us to remember to pay attention to what's now. Count your blessings. And don't worry too much about what could be, because it's easy to overlook what we already have in pursuit of what we don't have. So be sure you're counting your blessings when you get this Four of Cups. Don't spend too much time in self-pity or wishing your life away, because a lot of life actually has to do with where we put our focus. So you got to remember to put your focus on things, people, in your life that you have to be thankful for. So your outcome, Scorpio, Four of Swords, clarified by the Four of Cups. So, like I said, it looks like you're trying to manifest a new beginning. The relationship is just too difficult at times for you. Even though I'm getting the passion is there. You two might have great, I'm picking up a, maybe sexual chemistry. Yeah, because I keep looking at the Page of Wands and the King of Wands. This person is 
regardless of the passion, you still find their immaturity level is sometimes, what's that word? It's sometimes hard to tolerate. A lot of times you lose interest. You're ready for finality. You're ready for some type of new beginning somewhere else. So, it looks like you might ghost this person. Yeah, because ghosting is, you might just vanish on them. But you, you do come back, though. You need a break. It's showing rest after a struggle is needed. Yeah, they can be quite a bit for you. A lot to handle. Like I said, for a lot of you, this person is younger than you. So you ghost this person. <clears throat> you go up. The Four of Swords is a card above the word outcome. You go up to the top of the mountains. You take your four dogs. And you take four swords with you in case anyone wants to dis disrupt your break. And you bring a candle. Yeah, because this, this man, he lit a candle in a shoe. It's the shoe that's below his foot. You can see there's a candle in there. And he just wants a break. Yeah, like I said, it's difficult sometimes dealing with this person. So, that's you needing a break from the connection. And, like I said, it looks like you might ghost your person. You're going to ghost them. But it, the Four of Swords is about temporarily. You do come back. And your person is, is kind of um, not feeling well about this ghosting. Or just you just running off taking a break. I don't know if you told them. It looks like you probably didn't. But your person starts to feel devalued and unloved. That's what the Four of Cups can be about. Yeah, so they're wishing that they knew more. Or they're wishing that things were different. They probably feel like you, you dumped them. But it's saying you do come back. So you'll probably give this person some clarity later but for now it's all about you just getting away and taking a breath a, a break so Scorpio that is the reading that I have for you I hope you enjoyed it I hope this resonates as you know general readings they do not always resonate with everyone then again if you like the reading please comment subscribe hit the notification bell that way you'll be notified when I post my next reading I'll also put a link below of the extended of this reading where I'll go over how you both feel about the situation, what's in the near future for the two of you, how you see yourself, best case scenario, and what will happen between the two of you in the next few weeks. There's also a link below for personal readings if you'd like to try one of those. So Scorpio, thank you so very much for watching. I hope all of you are doing well and staying safe during this crazy virus season. Hang in there, it's going to pass. And we'll all get through this, so stay strong. Take good care of yourself. Come back and join me for the next Scorpio reading, just in case this did not resonate. Maybe the next reading will. Also, keep in mind, the roles can be switched. You could be them or they could be you. And if you're not dealing with anyone romantically, your person in the reading could actually be a friend. Could be a family member or it could be a situation. So take the reading for however it resonates because these are general readings. They're not personal readings. So Scorpio, I could never say it enough. I thank you so very much for watching. I hope you have a great day. I hope to see you at the next reading. And take care. 
and take care and take care.